If you're playing Starfield, it's a single player game, you'll probably want to collect achievements while you're going. However, if you're modding the game files, achievements can be disabled. Don't worry, there's a workaround, you can get the best of both worlds, both achievements and mods. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the achievement enabler, arguably one of the most popular mods for Starfield right now. What we'll do is we'll scroll down and choose the files tab here, where we'll click manual download, and it'll tell us to install the ultimate ASI loader as well. I'll open this in a new tab and click download anyway, because we'll need an account, sign in, click slow download, and we'll get the achievement enabler downloaded. Simple enough. This isn't everything though. What we also need to do is download 13 AG's ASI loader, rename a file, move it to the root directory of the game, create a new folder called plugins, and place this inside of it. So, clicking this link here, or the link in the previous section, or in the description down below, you'll be taken to the ultimate ASI loader GitHub page. Click this link where it says latest in the releases section, scroll down, and click the loader 64 here. Save the file and open the zip. We now have D input 8 in inside of the ASI loader folder. What we need to do is navigate to where the game is, rename this file to winINet.dll, so I'll copy this for now, and we'll move it to the root directory of the game. So, we'll open up Steam, find Starfield, right-click, manage, browse local files, and inside of the install folder here, we'll drag and drop this file into here, and it shouldn't replace anything. If it's asking you about replacing, click cancel, drag it to your desktop instead, and hit F2 to rename it. Paste in the text that we copied and remove the second .dll just like that, winINet.dll. If you don't see .dll after it, click the view button on Windows 11, show, and make sure file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. On Windows 10, there'll be a view tab and these two buttons will be tick boxes in the far right. Just make sure there's not dll twice. Now that we have this file here, we'll need to create a new folder called plugins. So I'll hit Control Shift and N to make a new folder, followed by plugins, hit enter and open it up. Now we'll need to put the Starfield Enabler.asi inside of it. So opening the other file that we downloaded, we have a Starfield Enabler.asi. We'll drag this out and into the plugins folder here. The next time we fire up Starfield, we should be able to get achievements as normal, even though our game is modified. So that's really about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.